Okay, so here we are continuing with the uh, Ford 351 Windsor build and the uh, modification to adapt it to a roller cam. This is an older 1986 block. It did not originally come with a roller cam. It came with a flat tappet cam. Uh, Comp Cams there provides a kit to uh, adapt it from a flat tappet cam to a roller cam. Uh, one of the little issues I ran into though with that kit is uh, when it's featured in catalogs or on Comp Cam's website or in Summit's website that they show it with the uh, with the uh, with the roller lifters as linked lifters. Typically, what you see these linked with a little bar, linked with a little bar in between them to keep them from turning inside their seat, and you know so it'll roll straight on the uh, on the cam lobe and it won't spin normal normal flat type lifters spin and these need to stay stationary so i figured out going on the forums and whatnot that, that there's an extra component you had to buy and it was basically this this kit that includes the spider and uh these links these create the links and that's that's really just kind of like a ford oem uh, uh cam kit so I don't know that it's an OEM cam kit, but these lifters are marked OEM lifters. So <laughs> I'm thinking you probably could cobble a kit together like this yourself. I'm not sure you better do your homework if you're thinking of doing it. But the one issue I found with this, with this spider is it comes with these two mounting holes that require you to drill into the block. And um, I didn't have a problem doing that, but it, they caution you in the instructions that uh, you can be careful not to drill too deep and tap too deep because you could interfere with the cam bearings and the journals. So these two locations, these where these bosses are supposedly are, but they're not, um, are right above the cam journals and the main journals. So if you punch through there with the drill and tap, you're gonna damage your cam bearing. So what I did to alleviate that is, is there's drain holes here, 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 and here that, um, basically just drain right into back into the crankcase and i didn't have a problem drilling through there i very carefully picked the locations and what i did is i drilled through the spider and i made my own holes here 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 and here and they're nowhere near the journals the journals are located basically through here 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 and uh, of course on the ends but I just wanted to stick them out here by the drain holes. So this, you know, if there was any issue or any leak or anything weird, it would just act like another drain hole. So I was just very careful to make sure that I stood them off with a, there was no boss to keep this rail up off of above the drain hole. So I spaced it up with some flat washers that I stacked up a little bit and uh, through bolted these. And I was very careful, very careful not to make to make sure that the fasteners didn't come through so here's where i drill my holes but you can see the bottom of my bolt is flush with the top of this casting in each location so you're not going to have any interference with cam lobe or anything like that so that's how i'm going to approach this and make this kit work um i'll let you know how it works out in the end but i think that's the solution and i've been on the forums and Saw some problems, so I felt I could post this up and maybe be helpful uh, if anyone else is using this kit or doing this build.